Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collection. It's got another watch review for you guys today, and this is by another Dartmouth brand. This is by a company that goes by the name of Thomas Earnshaw. Uh, and so I got today their Wallace Automatic Skeleton. Uh, this is a fun one. I got to tell you, this is one of those watches that... All right, let me just... All right, so this is one of those watches that... Uh, you know, when I look at their different watches and I try to pick ones out that really are uh, unique and kind of that might be, I don't know, set apart a little bit from other watches, uh, sometimes I, I, I pick ones and I'm like, all right, well, I'll go with that. You know, I'm not, you know, I, like I said, I'm always honest with you guys, and sometimes I can't get too excited about another Submariner homage, right? As much as I, I don't get me wrong, companies, companies, Dartmouth, any company for that matter, if you're watching. I still love owning them and wearing one. So don't think I don't appreciate any of these watches. Uh, if you are a company that, that is making only Submariner Homage watches, do not hesitate by sending, me, by sending me one so I can review it. They get worn all the time and I love them. But, you know, when you have so many of them, um, you just try to just pick out ones that are going to be a little bit different. Sometimes I'll pick something that might have a different color. Try to make the content on the channel a little bit different um, than, you know, if I review, if every single watch I get is a black face Submariner homage, you guys got to be like, well, I've seen this a million times, right? So that's why I chose this one. So this is the Wallace. Uh, done in Commander Gray, they call it, uh, which I don't understand why they call it Commander Gray, because it's not gray. Uh, but this is another very fun Submariner homage watch. I love this one. This one was watches that when I was ordering it, I, I told them, send that one. They sent me about 12 or 13 different watches. I said, all right, well, that's cool. I'm going to get that, you know, different than some of the other ones I got. But when I got it, I, I just... Again, it's one of those watches that just for some reason, um, it just really calls to me. I mean, I, I love this watch. And, you know, a lot of it has probably has to do with the fact that, and I know when you guys watch me, it's like, you know, how could you get excited about every, like, dude, are you being real? Like, I just get excited about every single watch that I get. Um, you know, I mean, it's naturally, of course, it's fun to get free stuff to share with you guys. It's fun to add to the collection. But these are not watches that I get and they're just going to sit in the box and never get worn, right? Like, these are exciting watches. And what I really like about this watch, I think what really sets it apart is, of course, it is a skeletonized face. It does have the exhibition window on the back, so you really see right through the whole watch. But what's really cool about it is that this bezel, it's almost like it's still wet. It's super high gloss, and the shape of it kind of is rounded. You know what I mean? It has kind of a bubble to it. And the way that the, the inner, I think it's called ring, uh, I believe inner bezel ring, inner chapter ring, if I'm saying that right, it just it has sort of like, not like the depth you're going to find on like a Aragon um, uh, Enforcer or like a Hydromax by Invicta, but, you know, it just has kind of like this depth where you look down into the watch with these really big, bold indices just floating across uh, that skeletonized face. So it's a really cool looking watch. And I absolutely love it. So what do you get with this here? So you get a milled clasp. You get that dual push button uh, fold over clasp. No lock on this, but I don't really think it's really necessary. Um, in all honesty, it's, I don't think it's really necessary on, you know, on any watch. But they don't have it on there. You have the Earnshaw logo on the back. Beautiful bezel on this here. Uh, the bezel, again, everything lines up. But the bezel on this, um, it's really smooth. Like, it's very easy to turn. Um, I just love it. And I don't know what it is. It's just maybe just that high gloss against that skeletonized backing or skeletonized face. It's just a really, really cool watch. Um, love it. You know, I think that, when, you know, when I look at these watches, I, I look at the ones that I have in my collection. Uh, this, believe it or not, is the only Submariner style I have with that skeletonized face. Very cool. Um, Sterling does a lot of stuff like that. But, you know, it's pretty cool to get another brand on here. And when I got this one, I'm not going to lie, when I friggin' uh, got all these watches, I was like, which one am I going to wear today? This one, I don't know. Again, maybe it's that bezel, just that skeletonized face. It just drew me in, and it's the one I wore, first one I sized. So very cool-looking watch. Again, exhibition window in the back. Uh, just a great-looking piece. Mirror polishing on the sides. Um, of course, the bracelet is completely... Uh, um, a matte finish or a brush finish and what they've done is they've done that mirror polishing on the side and on that coin edged bezel but then the whole bracelet the whole case from the top around is all a brush finish very cool i like the the uh the difference in the uh the finishing technique on that very very good looking watch all right so what about the specifications on this here so uh we have a 42 millimeter case diameter which i think is 
classic, uh, you know, not too small, not too large. I think uh, some guys, uh, real traditionalists, might only wear like a 40. Um, I like the 42. I think it's like really a sweet spot where the watch doesn't look too small. Still very masculine. Uh, 42 millimeter case thickness. This is kind of a thick, chunky watch. Um, you know, Kind of reminds me of the thickness you're going to get out of a pro diver. So if you don't like that higher wrist presence, maybe not your cup of tea. But I love that. I like how it just kind of stands off the top of the wrist. What I've really been enjoying lately is smaller sized watches that still have that thickness. You know, it's just kind of a different look and a different feel. So very cool. 22 millimeter band with uh, solid stainless steel, of course. Case of stainless steel. 200 uh, grams, they stay on the weight, and 10 ATMs of water resistance. That's it. That's about the only specs you get. Um, as far as the end link, some of the folks lately have been saying, hey, it's important to us to know, uh, you know what the end links are. From what I can tell, these are solid end links and solid center links. So, uh, again, like I said, I'm giving you guys my best uh, observation on that that's what it appears to have to me so very very cool watch um, and it does have a screw down crown so excellent that they threw that in there as well that's it you know I'm not going to read you guys uh, their sales pitch on that there's really no point Pro uh, most important thing about this is the price point 325 um, pretty good value right only downside automatic skeleton three hand no mention of the movement so uh, again like a lot of the Dartmouth brands, they really need to add the movement. I'm going to take a guess here. I suspect this is probably a seagull movement of some sort, uh, just based on the look of the rotor and the way that it's finished uh, and kind of the way it's turning. It almost kind of uh, turns like a... It almost rotates like an NH35. Um, if this was an NH35, I'd be very happy to know that, uh, but um, not sure at this point. So as I know, you know, when I find out this information, I will add it to the description and, uh, and hopefully they add it to their website. So very cool piece. Now Earnshaw is a company that uh, they make a bunch of watches. They have a huge selection. And as far as, um, you know, they do have some tourbillons as well. I'm hoping to get my hands on. Um, and the presentation on the tourbillon, it's more of a dress watch, uh, very similar to your classic uh, dress style watch, leather strap, very cool piece. Um, and the price point on it, I'm pretty surprised, man. The price point is $7.99 for a tourbillon. Like, I mean, I I've never seen a tourbillon under a thousand bucks. So the price on that is fantastic. So I'm going to try to get my hands on that. Actually, right after this video, I'm going to email my contact, see if I can get my hands on that. Um, it would be really nice to have a tourbillon as a dress watch. It's really a classic look. Uh, but putting the tourbillon aside, um, as far as their shop is concerned, they have women's watches as well. They have a ton of watches. Uh, definitely check them out. And there's some watches on here that uh, when I went to request them, they, they were limited on their stock. So I don't know what's in stock and what's not in stock, but they, if you like that Sterling style where you have like moon phase and a lot of skeletonized open heart style watches, uh, you're really going to like this brand. Uh, they have a few with the dual uh, open heart. Very, very cool look. They have one here that's very similar to like a Cartier, and price points on these are, they're pretty decent. I mean, we're looking at price points, uh, you know, in the $300 to $600 price range. A lot of them are marked down to the, in the threes. Um, no, no, I'm like, not even, I'm like just talking, I'm not even looking at you guys. Uh, this is what happens. Uh, there is one that I really want to get my hands on, and I encourage you to check it out. You guys know I'm always looking for something really unique. And I think gold and red is a killer color combination. Um, I did request it. They didn't have it. But it's called Duncan. Grande Date Open Heart Automatic. Uh, bright red. Very similar bezel with that like almost wet paint style look. Uh, but with that candy apple red, candy apple face, open heart on yellow gold. It is a, it is a choice looking piece. Uh, so definitely check that out as well. But without further ado, um, I am going to show you the box. The box is pretty basic on these, um, and the Earnshaw boxes, I don't know if this is the exact one that came with the watch, but they're all pretty similar. They're all, they all appear to be either a green or, or like a, almost like a brown. Uh, this one, I believe, came in the green. We have the Thomas Earnhardt logo, uh, very basic brown felt, uh, nothing really to write home about. You know, pillow, warranty card, 
that's it. So we're not going to spend any time on that. What's well, always important, like I say with any watch review, um, I'd rather a company skimp on the box and give you a really high quality watch for a great price point. Um, so again, I really hope I get my hands on this red, red and gold one. That is, I'm not going to lie too. Again, I, uh, when, when they sent their stock list and I was looking through all the different brands, CCCP, Earnshaw, of all the watches I looked through, this was the one I wanted the most, the, the gold and red. Again, because I don't have anything like that. And that's a, that's a killer color combination. You can find watches in gold and red. Believe you know, Naturally, I know you guys can go out there, find them. I'm not trying to say you can't, but it's hard to find watches in that color combination. Not Nothing over the top, nothing like unique, but you just don't find them. And it's just a great looking color combination. I, I mean, even Invicta, like the, with the 4,000 or so watches they have, I've never seen the yellow and red. And I'm sure maybe they've made one at some point, but I would love to see more of yellow, yellow, gold, and red. It's just a really stunning looking color combination. You see more of the, the yellow, gold, and green, not a lot of the red. So uh, definitely hope they do more of those. And I hope I get my hands on that. That's really calling me that watch. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and throw in the wrist. I'm about five foot seven and a half. I weigh about 180 pounds and I have a seven inch wrist. So this is what it looks like in a guy my size, my height and my weight. Uh, just a you know classic look, very clean, very, uh, I mean, you really can't go wrong with any Submariner style homage watch. Uh, but I, I like the fact that they, they put their own flair on it. You know what I mean? It's not trying to be uh, completely a, I don't use the word knockoff, but it's not completely trying to be a copy. It's its own thing. Nobody looking at this would be like, oh, is that a Rolex? You know, I don't even know if Rolex makes any skeletonized watches. So it does its own thing, uh, and I think it does it pretty well. Earnshaw, beautiful. Excellent looking piece. You can see that wrist presence. Um, kind of reminds me of, as far as the height and stuff, of uh, one of my Sterling Submariner style watches. Very similar in the height. And it does kind of remind me almost like of an NH35 Pro Diver with that thickness. Again, some folks I've heard don't like you know, don't like that. They don't like the, the height. But I, I generally like a watch that has a little bit of a, a stance to it. Um, it's just, just a good looking piece. You see that bezel. Look at that thing. Just looks like it's wet. Very cool. All right, folks, that's it. Earnshaw, definitely check it out. Link is always in the description. If I can help you guys out in any way, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'm always here to help me, help you guys out. Help me out. Help you guys out. Um, also, check out Invicta Addiction, a Facebook group page. Um, it's not just about Invictas. It's to really turn into a, just an a awesome wrist shot or wrist roll uh, you know, video clip site um, you know a lot of folks on there throwing up all kinds of watches so you'd be a part of it it's a great way to get more information from people learn about new brands and uh, just enjoy this fun fun hobby of watch collecting thanks for watching have a great weekend and take care